I saw the crowd part a little bit, and then I saw someone getting pushed in a chair, and I thought to myself, man, I bet nobody dances with that girl. He came up on the side of me. I turned my head far enough to look, and I saw the most amazing green eyes I've ever seen in my entire life. I squat down, and that was the first time I saw her face, and it just, just like, oh my gosh, where did this thing come from? It not, it, <laughs> I'll never forget that. I just had this big old Kool-Aid smile grin on. And he said, will you dance with me? And he said that he was shocked at how beautiful I was. And we danced the entire night. Uh, he's, you gotta explain this to me now. So he's, 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 he's standing dancing, up, right? he's, yeah, and he's. And you're he's, sitting down. Yeah, and we're dancing. Uh, like he's doing his thing, I'm doing my thing, we're feeling the music, you know. He'd grab my legs a little bit and shake them. And we just danced the whole entire night. I mean, before I knew it, it was, you know, three o'clock in the morning. What made you think that you could dance with somebody who's in a wheelchair, who can't dance in the normal sense of the word? Because I knew I had some strong legs for boxing, so all I had to do was squat. That's what I was training for. I trained every day in boxing for that exact moment, just to get out there. It was fate bringing me there.